mapping and extracting files from an ISO with Mac OS. ISOs are container files, meaning that it is a file that encapsulates several other files, making them easy to organize and move around or do operations such as download. So we download one file, but we have a group of other files within it. But to access those files, we first need to mount it. To mount an ISO in Mac OS, it's just a simple matter of double clicking the file. That is going to open up a second window showing us the contents of that newly mounted drive. I'm gonna close this window because I find it easier to go back to the original that has the pane on the left and look at it this way. So now I've highlighted the mounted drive and I can see the contents within it. I see folders and files. These folders and files can be copied around to your hard drive just like files from any other normal drive. Additionally, we see that we have a large file, a 7-zip file. Most of the virtual machines in SANS courses are zipped up with a third-party utility called 7-zip. This is because 7-zip deals with extremely large files very well. On Mac OS, we've asked you to add a third-party app called Kika. Um, Kika is the Mac equivalent of 7-zip and it will allow us to handle these large files extremely well. So we're gonna open with Kika and we're gonna select a location that we wish to extract it to. I'm gonna to go to Mark and I'm gonna create a sec new folder, SANS VMs, and I'm going to extract to that folder. Now this will take some time to run. Uh, when it is finished, you'll have an extracted virtual machine that you can then mount and run with Fusion. Also, at the end, when it has finished unzipping and you wish to unmount, just come back and eject it like you would eject any other drive. That's all for mounting ISOs and extracting files from them.